What is cloud gaming? A very valid question. With all these new technologies releasing constantly, it can be so hard to keep up with it all. Cloud gaming, otherwise known as gaming on demand, is essentially the ability to access a console remotely and play those games on any device that's compatible. It's pretty much like borrowing a console without having to physically have it with you. So instead of having to purchase a game in its entirety and take up all that valuable storage space, you're able to stream these games directly from the cloud gaming service. Think of it like Netflix, but for games. Yes, I said what I said. How is this even possible, you ask? Let me explain. By having a cloud gaming subscription, basically what you're buying is the access to a remote server that is hosting the game that you want to play. The server is doing all the heavy lifting in terms of hardware and all you need to provide is a screen to display it on. By having this run on a virtual server, essentially it removes any need for any sort of hardware requirements on your device. All you need is something with an internet connection and a screen and you're pretty much golden. It's pretty cool, hey? So here in Australia, we have xCloud, which is Xbox's version of cloud gaming. It is currently in public preview and you can request to get involved. And hopefully in the next couple of years, we will have Google Amazon and PlayStation's version of cloud gaming. Now, what's the difference between playing on a console with gaming subscriptions and cloud gaming? There are a couple of things. However, the most important thing that does affect us online and multiplayer gamers is something called latency. With cloud gaming, you're often able to get into the game faster because parts of the game are stored on the device. You've also got direct access to the game server with a good internet connection and pretty much your internet speeds will be your biggest cap with lag. However, with cloud gaming, as amazing as it is to be able to have instant access to a whole bunch of games, you do find that you have more issues with latency. So instead of you having a console with the game on it, you're needing to download and upload the game at the same time as actually playing the game, which of course will add a little bit of extra time. This extra time can cause latency or lag and things can get a little bit frustrating, especially when you're playing an online multiplayer game where speed is key. For this reason, cloud gaming is generally better suited for single player games that are not super heavily reliant on reaction times and online speeds. Regardless of what you are playing on cloud gaming, the most important thing at the end of the day is to ensure that you have a fast, reliable internet connection. And also consider checking out the Telstra Game Optimizer. It helps to optimize the gaming speeds within your home without affecting anybody else on the network. And as we know, every little bit of speed counts.